Greetings and welcome my dear friends. Welcome once again to Soggy's Workshop. In this video we will be wrapping up our latest project and go over the process and some of the problems we encountered along the way. Here she is my friends, the blue stingray. Ba, 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 ba. Now the first thing that we did was to upgrade the throttle and clutch cables to this motorcycle cable which is significantly thicker but still fits nicely in the original cable sleeve. We made sure we oiled the cables and inside the sleeves as well. Instead of using the twist throttle, we hooked the cable end to this children's brake lever to use as a throttle. The next thing we did was to add some connection points to the motor and bicycle frame until it felt as solid as the frame itself. If you have ever worked with a Stingray, the biggest challenge is mounting the motor because the rear tire is so wide. This means the motor has to be mounted offset in order to line up the two sprockets and chain in a straight line. I am aware of the specialized motor mounting plates that can be ordered but it wasn't in the budget. But it definitely would have made things a lot easier. We changed the carburetor and installed it using a piece of water hose and a couple of hose clamps. The carburetor was getting in the way of a proper motor mounting position so we thought this might be a better solution. Besides, we just saw Will from Will's Wheels do this on his build. Now, as to the dreaded hub adapter. We simply used our wrench set. I believe the first time we assembled this, we used simple Allen wrenches. So with the increased torque, we may have achieved the grip that we were lacking before. We installed a stock tank with an upgraded fuel hose and hose clamps. And finally, some green slime in the tires to seal the holes, and we were ready for our first test ride. Unfortunately, before we could get the engine to fire, we snapped the chain. So, first we ordered a 415H heavy duty chain, and while we waited, we remounted the motor, straightening the alignment between the sprockets. After this, we pieced together a chain to prove the alignment and the motor stability, and it was fine. Problem solved and the heavy duty chain can at this point be a backup. The next problem that came up was actually getting the motor to fire up. We checked for spark and simplified the wires while we were at it. We even did away with the kill switch. It still wouldn't fire. So we assumed a faulty carburetor. We ordered an HP carb with the offset air intake, 20 bucks, a great deal. It was the wrong size. Back to the water hose and clamps with a little modifying to our air intakes and that is when we finally achieved our first successful ride. It was all along a faulty carburetor. Well gentlemen, it only took a couple weeks of challenges and setbacks, but now that we have ridden it for a couple days, we can give an early first impressions evaluation. First thing we noticed was how tiny it feels. The original saddle looks really cool though, so we won't be modifying anything on this bike. As far as power and speed, the rear tire's smaller size gives it a decent amount of torque, making pedaling unnecessary to start. It is pretty cool to be able to just jump on and hit the throttle to take off. It doesn't knock our hat off, but it is incredibly easy to start and take off. Something is definitely rattling in the back though. Sounds like uh, the chain slapping something when we let off of the throttle. Either the fender or the hardware from the chain tensioner, which we left in order to help hold the poo poo muffler. Not a big problem. Now then, uh, let's talk about the poo poo muffler. It is aptly named, my friends, in our esteem. Because compared to our other riders with the MZ65 style pipes, it is definitely a noticeable reduction in power, but not much else that we have on hand will work and since it will be a kid's bike anyways, we feel that reduced power won't be such a bad thing. Besides, the muffler is paid for. But admittedly, the ride is a lot smoother than we remember. Raising the seat may have helped. Anyhow, it is early to pass too much judgment. Time will tell. Well, my friends, may God bless you all. So, be strong, have courage, and follow Christ. This is Soggy, signing off.